In this video, we're gonna ask some measure experts what their opinion is on how to become a more technical marketer. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of MeasureSchool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials and the occasional interview just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now recently we went to London to attend MeasureCamp, my favorite analytics conference really. And we also took our video gear with us so we would be able to do some interviews for you guys in the breaks between the talks. So this time we asked, where should a marketer start out if he wants to become a more technical marketer? And here's what they said. In a way, you don't need to become too technical. I don't think there's all different ranges of um, web analytics to the people. But to become a good analyst, you have to understand where the data comes from, how it's built, and how it's being processed by the tools. So definitely understanding the raw data, how it's sort of set up, and how it's transmitted to Google servers, and what Google does with it then. If you understand the raw data, how it's built, the numbers you're then looking at makes so much more sense. Otherwise, you'll make mistakes just through a lack of knowledge. Well, most recently, I was very lucky because I started working much closer with my agency's developers. Um, so I saw, I, I was working with a, directly with one of our developers when he was integrating an a enhanced e-commerce style data layer. Um, and he, we were working with like, when was the data layer updated, when there was a certain Ajax request on the page and stuff like that. Uh, and that really, because in, in hands e-commerce especially, it's quite complex to get your head around anyway. But working in that fashion with a developer and watching them write the PHP, which built the data layer and pushed the variables into the data layer that was on the front end of the site was really eye-opening. And that was um, a really good experience. And I know not a lot of analysts are that lucky to work that closer with the developers. Well, familiarity with Excel is always going to be a core skill, but increasingly um, Google Sheets is an excellent place to go, particularly now that you've got data, uh, data Studio. So, you know, Data Studio will allow you to visualize anything in Google Sheets um, into beautiful sort of dashboard creations. So I'd say that that's the way it's really going from the reporting side of things, um, you know, get going with Data Studio, uh, learn how to use Google Sheets like you learn how to use Excel, and that, those will be really good starting points. So you need to kind of be thinking about getting stuff out of uh, Google Analytics and not just relying on the standard reports that are contained within okay. um, to, to get your own sort of customized right. views on what's happening with your websites. Um, I think, you know, a big key skill these days is tag management. So take our fundamentals course for GTM. Um, but also the way that I learned and became more technical was really just reading a lot of blogs um, and understanding what other people are doing out there. People are doing some really cool things. Uh, Simo in particular, I read his blog often. Um, it's a great place for tips. I think it's kind of like with the technical stuff, it's more, uh, it's, it's not a great thing to say, but it's a bit of a case of like fail fast, as in you want to, in some ways, the more mistakes you make, the more you'll learn from those mistakes. So um, like when I was first starting out, I made loads of mistakes, um, which um, is not great, but it does mean you're not going to make them again. Um, and you definitely remember if you've made a mistake. And it's, um, but thankfully now I know pretty much all the mistakes that you can make. So it's like, whew, um, I'm, I'm normally uh, sort of pretty careful. Um, the tools that I mentioned for automating also reduce kind of number of mistakes and improve kind of data quality. Uh, so uh, there's a bunch of kind of Chrome plugins as well, which help with kind of technical stuff. Uh, Google Tag Assistant, uh, Data Slayer, uh, and uh, the preview window. Learning programming. Just um, the web tech stack is, is important on HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, those three tools. Uh, learning the basic terminology, learning the basics basics of those three tools, it will get you far in, in analytics, in, in mar digital marketing as well. And then again, you're back to the place where you have to figure out what kind of an analyst you are, what kind of a marketer you are. For example, if you're into SEO, you might want to start learning about how the server web server works, so you understand redirects, you understand um, you know, you understand how pre-rendering works and stuff like this. If you're into analytics, you want to know how, how the document object model works, how the web browser renders a page, and all this kind of stuff. So, but getting down and dirty with the tech stuff is what you, what, what I would recommend per people to pick up. So there's a lot of people at the moment um, who get very excited about learning Python and R and scripting languages. I think this it's great, but that's not the starting point. I think for most of us, the environment we work in is the web. So start with learning web technologies. Learn JavaScript, learn jQuery, learn CSS, learn HTML, learn to set up a server, understand the mechanics of how the internet works, and then go away and do clever stuff with uh, machine learning and systems. But understand the mechanical side first. 
So there you have it. This is how you can become a more technical marketer. Now leave a comment below if you have any more tips on how you started out in technical marketing and to become a more technical marketer, what helped you out the most, I would be really interested in. And if you want to become a more technical marketer, then check out our new project techmarketer.io where we have built a few resources around how to become more technical in the field of digital marketing. Now, my name is Julian and I'll see you next week.